Hi, I'm Roy Saren, and you're watching Black Nerd Comedy. Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and I am here with... Royce, and I'm a white nerd. <laughs> Uh, Royce here at Power Morphicon. Uh, I know who you are. Well, let's tell everyone out there who you are. I was Miss Appleby, the all-purpose high school teacher in the first three years, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's right. It's Miss Appleby, everybody. Oh, my God. Uh, you were great. Like, I, I'm a big TV fanatic, so I like to learn every character, not just the main character. So I remember you, when I saw you here first, I was like, oh, it's Miss Appleby. So, uh, do you get that reaction from people, particularly here? You know, you guys are just such wonderful fans. Outside of here, I'm just Royce Heron. <laughs> Outside of here, sometimes I get to be Professor Heron, or uh, Miss Royce, as my kids in Watts call me. Uh -huh. um, but basically, I'm just a regular old teacher-teacher when I'm out of here. Nobody <laughs> remembers me as, Power, as the Power Rangers teacher. Oh, wow. Well, you're, you're a great person. I, I watched you on a couple panels today. You're on the uh, Power Rangers, Morphin Mighty Morphin and Zeo panel, and you were on the Pretty and Powerful panel, and you had some really great things to say about uh, the, the people that were involved. So, like, with the Pretty and Powerful panel, you were talking about the women role models. You wanted to yeah, uh, you know, I, that was, I think, what was the real power of Power Rangers, if you'll excuse me for putting it that way. <laughs> um, first of all, it was this great group of diverse kids. Mm -hmm. There was an Asian girl, there was a black guy, mm -hmm. uh, there was a Latino boy. You know, it wasn't just all your white kids, which you see all the time. <laughs> and so suddenly, everybody had somebody they could have as a role model. And they were good kids. You know, they cared about the environment, they cared about school, they wanted to be involved, they wanted to to do things, but they weren't perfect. They got into trouble, they did, you know, made mistakes. And I think that Power Rangers gave kids, at a time when there weren't a lot of really good role models, role models, um, and particularly the girls, you know? The girls were gorgeous girls, first of all. But here they were, these powerful young women who could be feminine, who could be pretty, and at the same time kick butt. Yes. <laughs> and uh, again, that was, I think, really good for girls at that age, to have those kind of very strong women role models. Absolutely. Now, you had an interesting experience with Power Rangers, because most of them were on the set all the time. You kind of came in from time to time. Um, how did that work for you, either positively or negatively? We're doing the well, show. it was a little intimidating, because it was a really tight set, you know, and uh, it was my first job, oh, wow. my first professional job in Los Angeles, and uh, and so I was not real confident about working in front of the camera, and here these kids had this really tight-knit group going, you know, if it hadn't been for Paul Schreier and Jason Narvi, I would have felt like a real outsider. I felt <laughs> a little bit like an outsider anyway, but um, they embraced me, Jason and Paul did, and, and made me feel very welcome on the set. And the kids were good, too, but they were working all the time, you uh -huh. know. I mean, they were all in almost every shot, so it um, was difficult to get to know them as well. <laughs> but it was a great set to work on. Great. How did it feel to literally be the only teacher <laughs> at Angel Grove? It was like you and the principal, and that was it. <laughs> well, it was just empowering. I mean, you know, I had to be really bright, right? Yeah. In order to teach all those subjects. Yeah. No, in my mind, I imagined there was a whole faculty, you know, who was teaching behind me. I just happened to have these kids all the time. Right. So. Well, I imagine there's a whole faculty, but it's just of you. It's just a bunch of Miss <laughs> Alpha <Alphamies. laughs> It's just every class. Oh, that's pretty scary. <laughs> that's pretty scary. There's a Senorita Applebee in a Spanish class. You know. <laughs> so, um, how did you um, how did you end up in the role? Um, I had just started my career, as I said, and um, I was non-union at the time. I had an agent who I think has since gone out of business, um, and Katie Wallen and Tom Kwan at Action in Acting um, called me in for an interview. 
they liked me. They sent me on to producers. They sent me out. At that point in time, Power Rangers was being shot in Culver City. It was before the 93 or 92 earthquake. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I went out to Culver City to the production office to audition. And um, it was kind of this, you know, magical thing. I walked in. There were several women there. I never felt really comfortable auditioning at the beginning of my career because I was not very self-confident with what was going on because I was a theater-trained actor. Oh. And I, I didn't know a lot about acting in front of a camera. And uh, um, I walked in. I auditioned for Jonathan. He said, thank you very much. I walked out. I thought, oh, well. Another audition, another no, yeah. and I, I was on my way to my car, and Jonathan Zachar, who was the producer at the time, came running out and said, oh, Royce, we want you to work, and um, we'll send your agent the contracts, and probably next week sometime. And, oh. you know, after I picked myself up off the asphalt, <laughs> not really, but, you know, I felt like falling down. Um, I was so excited. It was wonderful. Nice. Um, so you said that, who did you feel like, you kind of mentioned a little bit already, but who do you feel like you connected with most in the set, being that you came back? Well, from? you know, um, <laughs> I got to be really great friends with the makeup artist and the <laughs> Uh, because I saw more of them than I saw anybody else. But next to them, Paul and Jason were really, you know. And um, the guy who played Kaplan and I would hang out together if, if and when we were on set together, which was very seldom. Right. Now, what do you think of this experience, Power Morphicon? I mean, like you said, you, you were a day player, the teacher of the school, and, like, you're getting applause, and getting ovations. I mean, people love you. Like, what does that feel like to be immersed with hardcore Power Ranger fans? Like this? It's pretty overwhelming. <laughs> I mean, you know, Andy Warhol said we all get 15 minutes of fame. I feel like I've had two and a half days of fame already. Um, but it, it's really nice that people remember my work. Um, like I said in one of the panels, I feel like I've had a very small career, you know. Um, there are not a lot of roles for large-sized women, and I work when I can, and I love it when I work. Um, but when people remember my work, it really means a lot to me. I'm, I'm, you know, it's just a lovely thing, and these fans are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, and then you are absolutely phenomenal as well. You have such a great personality, and, and so it's so cool. Um, have you ever tried to pitch Miss Appleby, the Power Ranger, just one episode? Like. <laughs> no, because I knew my place on the set. <laughs> oh. You know, my place on the set was come in, Royce, learn your lines, hit your mark, and then sign out and go home. So that's basically what I did. Cool. Um, what other stuff can people see you in? Um, you know, most of my stuff has been independent. However, if you ever watch the Bernie Mac show, I was on two episodes of Bernie Mac. And I was also um, on an episode of ER, and it's next to the last season. The, that episode is called 21 Guns, if you're ever looking around. Okay. However, don't blink. Because <laughs> if you blink, you'll miss me, okay? Oh. Well, you are great. Love you on Power Rangers, and Thank you. and you should be getting work. Let's 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 stop all this nonsense of not giving different actresses work. Because you're awesome, and we, I'd love to see more of you. Thank you so much. So thank you for this interview.